What's up people, it's DevSage here, and in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you about utility functions. So what is a utility function? You may have heard the term utility function before, but you may not understand exactly what it is or what that means. So a utility function is just a regular JavaScript function that follows two specific rules. One of the rules that a utility function must follow is a utility function must not have any side effects. So what is a side effect? A side effect is any programming operation that accesses or modifies any state. So a, uh, a side effect might include logging to the console side effect or changing the value of some variable or a side effect might include writing some data to the disk so like local storage set item uh, XY this is a side effect or a side effect might be any kind of DOM manipulation so uh, document dot append node this is also a side effect uh, so essentially a side effect is basically just changing something somewhere whatever it is whether it be logging whether it be assigning a new value to a variable writing to the disk any of these are side effects so utility functions must not have any side effects so let's see an example of a utility function then so let's say function utility function and let's have an input x and let's just return uh, let's return x to the power of three so let's say math.pow x three this is a utility function this follows that that rule of no side effects there's no external state being accessed or modified okay cool so that's the first rule, no side effects. The second rule that a utility function must follow is that its output must depend directly on its input. So a utility function usually always takes in some value, let's call it X, and it returns some other value, let's call it Y. Um, now, Again, this utility function must not manipulate X in any way. Um, it just has to make some calculation on it and its output must depend on X, but it can't modify X based off of rule one here. Um, but th whatever value this returns, it must directly depend on X and not any kind of random factors. So for example, if I were to say, so if I, if I were to run this, and I said utility function and I called it with three, then we would expect, uh, let's console log this. We would expect three times three times three. Yeah, so that would be 27. So let's run this. Oops, I didn't save it. So there we go. And as many times as we wanna run this, we'll always get 27. So this utility functions output directly depends on input so but if I were to introduce some random factor such as times math dot random then my output is not going to be 27 and it's going to be different every time I run it the output is not directly dependent on its input alone this is not a utility function because let's let's say non utility function two because it's output not directly dependent on input so that's that's the second rule so these are the two rules that utility functions must not break it can't have any side effects and its output must directly depend on its input 
well, you might say, well, these are pretty boring functions then, <laughs> but they do serve their own purpose in that utility functions are usually set aside to perform very common and often reused routines or tasks. Um, therefore, you're able to have these utility functions which are not tightly coupled to any other script or client or anybody that wants to use them. They're usually grouped together in their own files and you can take them and reuse them as you need to. So that is a little bit about utility functions. A utility function is a standalone function that does not have any side effects and whose output is directly dependent on its input. Um, if you like this video, leave a like, subscribe if you want more content, and uh, yeah, peace.